The Biden administration is being criticized for an apparent about face on a campaign promise. Uh, President Biden had said he would halt oil and gas development on public lands once he was in office. But in the way of those plans now, an unfavorable court ruling and mounting pressure now to lower gas prices. So the White House is announcing new leases for drilling on federal lands now. ABC's Justin Finch is in Washington today with more on that decision and the reaction to it. This year we're finally getting together again, and it's so special. The president welcoming families at the White House for the first Easter egg roll in two years due to the pandemic. Families there and across the U.S. grappling now with the rising cost of living. The latest Labor Department data showing prices for everyday goods and services are up 8.5 percent over just a year ago, an inflation rate not seen in four decades. In an effort to lower costs for ordinary Americans, the administration announced it will lease 144,000 acres of federal lands for oil and gas drilling, a move seemingly at odds with the administration's efforts to reduce greenhouse gases, but one they say they were forced to do by a federal court order. High oil and gas prices only one factor in rising inflation. Others include Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the continuing supply chain crisis caused by COVID-19. People are paying uh, $325 per month more uh, this now compared to a year ago to buy the same goods and services. Back in the U.S., a perplexing economic picture. While inflation remains high, more than 400,000 jobs on average have been created over the past 11 months, and unemployment has fallen to a near record low of 3.6 percent. And there are increasing fears that efforts to tame inflation will inevitably lead to a recession. Despite those drilling leases being opened up, some in the oil and gas industry forecast it could take as long as a year before we see enough supply to lower prices at the pump. I'm Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.